Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix up our crouch. As of right now when you do crouch it is only really affecting the animations. Your actual collision is not going to change. So for example, within my example map here, if I grab this cube here and raise it up a little bit and try and walk up to it, you can see at the moment my head is hitting it and that's fine, we're not supposed to be able to get through. However, if I crouch down, you can see quite clearly we should be able to go through there, but we cannot. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use the built-in Unreal Engine 4 crouch function within your character movement component to change your collision radius. So all of this is going to be done inside of your third person character. So first things first, before you do anything, open up your third person character and then you want to select your character movement component and then in the details panel on the right hand side scroll down all the way down until you can find the function for navigation movement now within here underneath uh, sorry underneath nav uh, movement capabilities what you want to do is just make sure can crouch is ticked and is true if it's not, you are not going to be able to use the crouch function to change your height. So just go to nav movement, movement capabilities, and then down here and just check that. And then go ahead and give that a compile. Now, we're not actually using the crouch function at the moment. Like I said, all we're doing is just changing some animation stuff. So within our event graph, within our code, we need to find our code for crouching. So if we go and find it, it should look a bit like this, input action crouch. Now what we want to do when we tell it to crouch is simply drag out and tell it to use the crouch function. And then over here where we're turning off the crouch, what you want to do is just go ahead and set crouch, uh, type in crouch and use uncrouch. And what this is going to do is put it back to its normal height. And with this, what you also want to do is anywhere that you're turning your crouch off, for example, as part of my sprint code here, you just want to make sure you also use the uncrouch there. Otherwise, it is just going to cause you some issues where your character continues to crouch when it shouldn't. So after crouch untrue here, just hook up uncrouch and you're good to go. Now, from what I know, I'm pretty sure that is the only reference to uncrouching that we've got. So if we go ahead and compile this, press play, and if we run up to it now, we shouldn't be able to walk under it. But if we hold down control, crouch under it, and we can go straight through, and you can see our crouch function is now working exactly as we intended it. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you in today's video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.